everyone. I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com and today's topic is one never heard of this before. It's called disyanine dye and I think I'm saying that right and I'm calling this disyanine dye looking into other dimensions and I'll go in here and read a little about it and then I'll go into the reading itself. It says Lynn can you look at this? During the 1920s a scientist by the name of Walter Kilner experimented with a chemical called disyanine. He placed the dye in between two glass planes and looked through it. What he found was the ability to see the aura of any person. Have you ever heard of dicyan and dye? I just stumbled on it today and I'm not claiming this to be fact of any kind. It's highly illegal and here's a theory as to why. Dicyan and dye is an illegal because it is said to have special properties when placed between two glass planes. When doing this, the resulting effect gives anyone the ability to look at an astral realm along with seeing a person's emanating aura, essentially proving that another plane of reality exists. Because of the dye's ability to block out the white light spectrum, it helped Kilner's ability to concentrate on the person's aura. Before the 1940s, private researchers were able to freely use dyes and dye. During the same time frame, the U.S. government banned any use of it. In 2010, very briefly, the, cover, the public was able to buy the cyan and dye, but was quickly banned once again. When a government chemist was asked to see just how classified the dye was, the chemist found out that the company that creates the dye assigns a special code to its customers. The chemist also found out that his security code allowed him to buy all the LSD, heroin, and cocaine he wanted, but he didn't have high enough clearance to request dicyan and dye. So can you imagine that? You can buy any drug you want, but you cannot buy this dye. So... They go on to say that it seems like at one time they could make a real they live set of glasses. Check out the link below. So, of course, I was really interested to know more about this from an intuitive perspective and what I was able to pick up on. And like I said, it wasn't something I heard of. So it was very interesting to me. And as I focused on it, I do get that such an element exists and I get that it's ET oriented and one of the components used in this is also used in the Project Looking Glass, which I've talked about before. It's held in very high regard due to the filtering properties, therefore making it difficult to obtain. If you're able to happen upon it, I hear, expect someone in a black suit to find you quickly. This substance allows people to easily access other dimensions and see outside the typical 3D vibrations with ease. When I think more specifically about this stuff, I get that our normal spectrum of color frequency of colors is seen by the naked eye. You know, we see red, or we see blue, or we see green. That's our 3D eyes see that. There is a much larger range of colors and frequencies that we cannot see, like UV light, we cannot see infrared light, we cannot see. Our 3D eyes just don't pick up on it. Just as infrared um, goggles, you know, these night vision goggles help redirect light and frequency and enable humans to see in situations they normally couldn't see in. I got that these glasses made with this film do the same thing. These special glasses convert frequencies to a range that is seen and understood by the human 3D eye. So we're able to understand and extract that information where we normally would look out and not see anything. So I didn't get a whole lot on it, but wow, this is really cool stuff. And I want to thank you for the reading suggestion, the person that put this out there. And if anybody knows where I can get some of this stuff on the down low, I'd be way interested in that as well. I think a lot of people would. Uh, just, I need to avoid the guy in the black suit. <laughs> so anyway, I'll leave you with that. Thanks again so much for the topic. Uh, thank you for listening to my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Again, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Thank you. Bye.